Hello everyone and welcome to Patreon Stable, um, our third video of a few more that we're going to be doing. As you can see probably on the, at the bottom, we are not live today and there's a reason for it. Those of you that tuned yesterday and also uh, the day before, you saw that there was a bit of either lack on the voice or just simply uh, something didn't seem right. And we have decided to move forward and continue doing the videos. Uh, just to share our knowledge with you, not doing live. That ensures that we can provide you with the insight and you have the, the access to the technology that we have, which is, as you can imagine, is limited. We are not a high studio. We're just people passionate about food and drinks. In terms of um, the session for today, I have mentioned uh, on the caption that is about uh, does the size matter? And in this case is part two. And the reason is because there were probably a few things to cover yesterday that I didn't cover. And I wanted to make sure that we could just uh, close that for everybody. The weather is still great. I know you see the garden still with, uh, with the sun there. So look, the, the magnums or the big size bottles, great idea. And just let's go for it. Uh, the, one, the one I have today is um, a Atelier Kramer, it's a Primario, it's an orange wine. We'll cover that one day as well, because it's one of the questions that are definitely pending. And just to put an example of the large bottle. Things that I didn't mention yesterday that you might want to know is, in the case of white wine, how do you chill it? And you'll say, well, oh, I know how to chill it, just you put it in the fridge and that's it. That you, just one thing to, to remember and, and to keep in mind is that any large size bottle is going to take much longer to cool down. So if you normally you put your bottle of wine and it takes like good two hours just to reduce the temperature to what you want, in the case of a double size, count almost like a double even if it's just a, as a bottle, just you have double the, size, the amount of liquid there and the contact with the air of the fridge is not enough. So keep it longer. Um, I can tell you it creates a lot of disputes sometimes here at home when I put some of the big bottles in the uh, fridge we have. It's like patient says, well, what's that big bottle doing there? I said, well, just for drinking, chill out. It's like, no, no, it takes too much space. So if you're planning that, just make sure you have a space in the fridge because you will have to take it for much, much longer. Now, the other element that I didn't mention was about um, if you want to keep some of these bottles for longer, you can. Uh, I said that before. And if you keep it them horizontal, they are kept really, really well because the amount of air you have left when you lay down is very limited. So actually, you can keep it for much, much longer than the previous ones. And the last bit of... Um, insight or at least from my experience is that if you have any bottle that is with this uh, shape once you have used it you can remove the labels you put it in water try to remove this one actually is an excellent rolling pin so those of you that uh, are doing a bit of baking and i'm sure patient will just be able to to just uh, share with me, uh, with you as well it's a really good rolling pin the, the weight of the single bottle and and the shape itself being so big it just really helps just with this handle here on the side it's very comfortable much rather than a single bottle so proper proper reuse rather than recycle and of course you want to recycle by all means and this was um, a few things left uh, i'm gonna make sure that this video is uh, right and you can hear everything and if that's the case we'll carry on putting videos for you and it's gonna be not live, but definitely continue to share with you our experience. So, cheers.